This is the headquarters of Stork Town, the council maternity home at Swindon, where there's a boom in babies. And this is the woman whose kindly smile has been the welcome to life of 20,000 babies, 4,000 of them in Swindon alone. She's the matron, Miss Dora Hancock. Yes, she's saying, they're both doing fine. She knows what fathers go through. Today, Swindon is a town in a flutter, the flutter of the wings of the stork. More babies per thousand of population are born in this bustling Wiltshire town than anywhere else in Britain. And somehow, the thread of human life draws everyone into its pattern. The arrival of baby becomes a part of everyone's life. Now meet the people of Stork Town, men and women whose workaday world has taken a swifter, more exciting course as new lives have entered into the business of their lives. First, the florist. To manager William Morgan, babies mean business. Bouquets for their mothers, dozens every week. At the food office, more babies mean longer queues for new ration books and those green ones that are the passport to the head of the shopping queue. And a record rush too on priority baby foods. Harder work for everyone. But well, babies are something special, aren't they? While the baby boom lasts, Baby clothes are the fashions that women stop to gaze at in the shop windows. Inside the drapers, Swindon suffers like everywhere else from shortages of everything, except babies, of course. Mrs. Smith behind the counter could sell ten times her quota of baby clothes. Prams, prams everywhere except for sale. In the nursery shop, Mr. James Smith has a waiting list of dozens for prams. There's a record run, too, on soft toys. Round the corner at the chemist's, it's the same story. The manager, Mr. Thomas, has started a special baby corner to help out Swindon's mothers. And though it's stalk down here, there's the same dearth of proprietary baby foods as in your own hometown. Mr. Lou Evans, who runs the jewellers, the baby boom means priority for all those things that godfathers and doting relatives produce for the christening. Mugs, rings, spoons and forks, brooches and bracelets. Such is the volume of business he has to make special buying trips to Birmingham. And to the postman, bigger than ever mailbags, bringing good luck messages and congratulations to Stork Town headquarters. And here's the Stork delivery service. It's nothing for Mr. John Liddington's taxi to be called out four times a day for the dash to the maternity home, although it usually happens at night. And then for the chief actors in the story of Stork Town, there's the ride home, the goodbye from Matron, and the joyous moment of holding in their arms their own child. But for Matron Hancock and her staff, the story doesn't stop here. Others are waiting to come in, for this is Swindon, where life goes on and on and on. Thank you.